In my previous video, I was showing you guys how to flip $100 to $3,000 trading the margin market on the CEX cryptocurrency exchange. And if you had missed out on the video, just click on this pop up and it's going to take you to the video where we are going to learn how to flip $100 to $3,000 or even more trading the margin market on the CEX cryptocurrency exchange. So in this video, I want to show you how to set take profit and stop loss. So first up, let us discuss what is take profit and what stop loss is. So take profit is actually a certain price that you are comfortable with. I mean, taking profit after you've been able to initiate a trade or take profit actually taking profit from a trade that is profitable or a trade that has given you profit so far. While stop loss is deciding how much you are willing to let go should in case a trade goes in opposite direction. So when it comes to trading the financial markets, traders are usually given the ability to decide how much they are comfortable losing should in case a particular trade goes in opposite direction just to preserve their capital for other opportunities to trade and make money because if you refuse to set profits there are chances that you might get to blow your account that is there are chances that you can get to lose every single capital in your balance so in this video, I'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step guide to setting take profit and stop loss trading the margin market on the CX cryptocurrency exchange. But before we dive right into the video, do well to subscribe and if you are new here, do well to tell me your name in the comments below so I can officially welcome you to the family. And if you are here to join our Telegram channel, check the description of this video, you are going to find a link that will take you to our Telegram channel. We are going to be getting trading tips crypto trading signals, job opportunities, crypto updates that will help you to be updated in the cryptocurrency market so you can be able to make informed decision. Enough said, let's dive right into the video. So um, as you can see, if you check um, this page, you are going to see that I have an active trade. And please, if you had skipped the previous video where I was actually showing you guys how to initiate trades um, on margin markets on the CX cryptocurrency exchange, do well to go and watch the video. You will find the video link in the description of this video. So um, this trade actually gave me over 200% and I refused to take profit because I had to just leave it so I could be able to make a video to show you guys how to be taking profit and setting to stop loss. So currently this is 158%. I'm actually not going to be really dwelling on this because it is something we have already addressed in the previous video. Right, so we are just going to go straight to the point. So when it comes to taking profit, we have um, like two means where you could be able to do that on CX cryptocurrency exchange. And the very first one is like, since you have an active trade, please, if you are confused here, do well to go and watch the first video. So since we have an active trade, all we have to do is to click on this close position. So if you click on close position, if you click on close, hold on. So when you click on this X button, you are going to um, be given an option to choose if you want to close your entire position. That is if you want to sell everything. If you want to sell in parts, you can choose to sell 75%, 50%, which is half of um, your active trade or even 25%. So um, in, um, for the context of this video, I would rather go for 100% and if I click on 100%, the next thing I have to do is to click on confirm. Let me just click on confirm. So I've clicked on confirm, then I've been able to close this particular trade and I've taken profit. So you can be using this particular method if you just want to exit the market. That is if you're already in profit or maybe you just want to close the market even if you are at loss because you are afraid you might get to i mean lose more right so when it comes to take profit and stop loss on cs cryptocurrency exchange it is something you have to do while you want to initiate trade so the only thing you can do after you've been able to initiate a trade is for you to just close a position or you could even modify a particular position and you could even increase the amount of money you have used in a certain trade and you can also reduce how much you are exposing to the market right so i'm actually going to open a new trade entirely 
and for me to be able to do that all i have to do is to either use market or trigger so i'm actually going to change it to market because i want to get it immediately and i'm going to be using like um, 50 percent of the remaining balance which is 6.30 dollars then i'm going to set my take profit and my stop loss take profit is going to be 27 while stop loss is going to be 17 dollars or let's even say 16 dollars so now what i'm actually telling the system is that anytime the price of link gets to 27 dollars just do well to close my position at profit right and with this i don't have to be active i don't have to be online i don't have to even um log into my account for this to take effect right i can just do this and choose to log out and choose to off my data and once the price of link gets to 27 dollars it's actually going to take profit and close the trade for me and if the opposite happens that is if the price drops to 16 dollars i don't have to be online for it to take effect it's actually going to uh, make me lose some money right it's actually a good thing because I'm actually the one who is deciding how much I am willing to let go should in case the price of link goes south. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is to click on open position. Now that the position is open, to check it out, I will just click on this button. And here you will see all the details of this particular trade. You are going to see um, entry price which is 17.28 dollars liquidation price is 16.4 dollars so liquidation price is actually the price that when link drops to that price my account is actually going to be liquidated so you know the funny thing the funny thing is that since i already had an open position i don't have enough balance to be able to cover for i mean liquidation and that is why the liquidation price is way closer than my stop loss so since my liquidation price is lower than my stop loss what i need to do now is for me to edit my stop loss to, to 17 right such that before it even gets to 17 right which is a bit closer to my stop loss i'm already out of the market okay i'm already out of the market preserving my capital so i can trade some other time remember the adage that says he who fights and runs shall live to fight again another day right i think i'm correct if i'm not correct you can correct me in the comments below all right so i believe you guys are following and alternatively i, I could just click here and close the position i could just click close position at this point and the position will be closed at the current price that link is being traded at the time of making this video right so that is it about setting stop loss and taking profit okay so like i said earlier we have two means of taking profit which is the first the uh which is just clicking on this button to close a position to take profit and it could even be at loss let's say your trade for instance this trade is currently at loss the loss is not even significant if i close it here it's just more like a stop loss like stop losing do you get and if a trade is in profit and i choose to click here to close it it's just more like a take profit it's actually a take profit right so um that is it and if you have any question please let us chat in the comments below so i'd like to remind you once more if you are here to join our telegram channel the link is in the description of this video click on the link and join our telegram channel and I do well to share this video with your loved ones and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.